What's up everybody? Supple Sunday here again. Uh, we have a nice easy recovery wad scheduled for today. It is four different movements to bata style, so eight rounds of 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off of each movement before moving on to the next one and we'll work through all four of those. So the first movement that we have here is a double dumbbell Romanian deadlift. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab two dumbbells or one, um, whichever you have available, or you can use an odd object. We're going to have a slight bend in the knee here, nice and soft. We're going to keep a flat back for as long as we possibly can. Once you feel that back start to break, that is when we're going to come back up. So we're going to keep the dumbbells nice and close to the body, keep that flat back, just travel down the leg, down the leg, down the leg, down the leg, right to about mid shin, and then we're going to come up nice and quick. All right, so from the side, that looks like this. Fold the leg down with soft knees, keep that back flat. As soon as you feel that back start to break, come back up nice and quick. All right, if you only have one dumbbell, then we're going to do it just like this. We're going to hold it on either side of the dumbbell. Nice soft knees right along the body. Flat back, flat back, flat back. Come up nice and quick. Now we'll do that for 20 seconds. We'll rest for 10 and repeat for eight rounds. After we're done with eight rounds there, we're going to move on to a hollow hold. Hollow hold will be shoulders up off the ground, hands overhead, feet up off the ground, and we're going to hold it here with a tight core for 20 seconds, and then we'll rest for 10. Now, scaling options for this, if this is too difficult or you can't hold proper form, we can put our hands by our side, so shoulders up, hands are straight, and our legs are straight, about six inches off the ground. That is a scaling option. And then the next scaling option is bring our knees tucked into our chest, and we can either hold it here, or we can hold it overhead. Whichever you prefer. And we'll hold for 20 seconds, rest for 10, for eight rounds. And then we will move on to the next movement, which is glute bridges. Again, laying on our back, our heels are into the ground, hands are on the ground beside us. We're driving through the heels, bringing those hips to the sky and squeezing our glutes. Slight hold at the top with a squeeze. And again, repeating for 20 seconds, resting for 10, for eight rounds. And then finally, the last movement that we have is a V-up. Um, so the V-up is very similar to the hollow hold, except we are doing more of a sit-up. So the legs are going to start to rise, and then we're going to bring our upper body up to follow to tuck our toes. That looks like this. Now, if that is too difficult, we can do a straight leg sit-up, which is perfectly acceptable. So our leg stays on the ground, straight legs, our hands are up overhead, and we sit up and touch our toes. Another variation is if you want to keep your legs in the air, you can reach up and touch the toes, keeping the legs in a stable, secure, solitary position. And again, 20 seconds of that, 10 seconds rest for eight rounds, and then that'll conclude the workout. So it's Tabata, eight rounds per movement, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You complete all eight rounds, which is a total of four minutes before moving on to the next movement. So you're totaling after the four movements, a 16 minute total workout. Any questions, shoot me an email, send me a text message. Nice, easy recovery Sunday workout as always. Let the body enjoy it, move around just a little bit, not too much, and then relax the rest of the day and recover and get ready for another awesome week.